You think you're the only superhero in the world? You become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Darth Shigong, gaming on the dark side. G-O-T-D-S, and you know we got this. Today I'm coming at you with something new. So why don't you strap on in and watch this quick little promo clip I made of the future content I'll be adding to my channel. This is the future. Welcome to the revolution, baby. You know, I'm really enjoying myself on this game. It's a, you know, it's a nice change of pace to do something a little bit different. Um, it kind of takes me back to my MMO roots. Um, I used to play a lot of DCU Online. Uh, this basically is a, a, it's kind of a similar game to this, but in the DC universe, right? And you get to fight side by side with Batman or the Joker, depending if you're a villain or a hero. And what I liked about that game is you're able to move around, right? So if someone's trying to hit you, you can dodge attacks, you can, you know, there's more of an action-oriented fighting. Where also I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft, not as much, right? And other than trying to stay out of the fire, <laughs> you know, there really wasn't too much mechanics and moving around on most fights. Now there were some fights, there were some mechanics you had to move around from place to place, but you weren't really dodging manually as much as you were relying on innate stats and stat rolls to dodge attacks. In this game, um, you can actually physically dodge with your character to get out of the way, position yourself for certain attacks, do what you need to do. A lot of timing, a lot of strategy, and um, it's really enjoyable to take a character that technically should not be able to win a fight, but through just pure skill, you can do it. Now, it'll take some time, but you can do it. So with that being said, let's jump into some real quick gameplay just to give you guys kind of a preview of what the game looks like. So if you're thinking about jumping up in there and to also show you, you know, kind of what I'll be covering in these videos as we move forward. So this is my main character, Captain America. Um, what's really cool is you can pick all kinds of different outfits for your characters and there's actually eight of them in the game. You got Captain Marvel, Captain America, Storm, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Star-Lord. They all are playable. They all have their own sets of outfits. Um, you can um, do anything you want. Now you can see over here, I'm in the Ravage Plains. This Ulit guy just popped up. He's a mini boss. Now they have like these little raid bosses that pop up um, in the regular game while you're running around in the overworld from time to time. And you can team up with people, whether they're on your team or not. You guys are all just trying to bash them and take them down for some prizes. And as you can see here, man, I'm trying to dodge some rocks and move around. It's, you're not just standing still, right? This is not a turn-based game. You're not just sitting on one side of the screen and, and you know, waiting for things and to see numbers on there. You actually have to move around. Now, my guy is kind of overpowered for this level. I'm at level 100 right now on my Captain America. I've been playing for a few weeks. I wanted to get all the way through one character to max level and um, before I was making any videos. I want to see, do I like this game? Do I want to recommend this game? And yeah, dude, this game is great. I'm really enjoying myself. Um, 
One thing I can say, it's definitely grindy, but if you guys are fans of mine already and subscribe to my channel, then you know that I'm a grinder. And so any game that has a grinding element to it and, and it can be grinded, well, hey, it's a game that I know I can probably do pretty well at since well, that's what I do. I grind. And yeah, this game's definitely grinder friendly in that sense that you need to grind a lot to get things done. But hey, you know, when you're running around doing stuff like this, the grind becomes a little more worth it. It's, it's fun to play around. Now, um, let's shift out of this and move into some uh, PvP. Okay, so PvP here is in real time. It's really cool. You get to go head to head with people. I really like it. Now, there's two kinds of version. There's one here. This is called Dimension Duel. So this is one on one PvP. You can see I'm going up against somebody that's playing as a Spider Man. Um, you know, they, they have their powers. He's all flicking around. Freaking Spider Man, dude. They, they spend a lot of time dodging and running away from you. Very, very frustrating. You need to have abilities that you're able to kind of hunt them down and get there quick. And then, you know, just try and dodge a lot of their power shots and all that. I mean, but if, if it's a good Spider Man, dude. They got tons of dodge. It's really, really frustrating, especially since it, you know, makes you waste cooldowns. But you can see here, I'm, I'm pretty much holding on my own against him. He's not, I mean, I'm level 100, he's level 75, so, I mean, but don't get me wrong. Hey, level doesn't really have much to do, especially if they've got better gear, um, and, uh, and they just have it rolled better, and like I said, it comes down to skill. This Spider-Man here isn't um, playing the way that I've gone against some really high up Spider-Men that have gone at me, dude. I mean, I barely can move at all. They keep me locked down and they just dodge everything. And they're constantly running away, dude. It's, it's very, very frustrating. You know, the other one's really frustrating to fight that I hate fighting is Black Widow, dude. She's just gnarly. If someone knows how to use her or they just use that cheese attack, dude. Or if it snipes you across the screen, very frustrating. But I'm about to beat the crud out of this dude. So, um, but hey, it's, it's, it's different, right? I mean, you actually are controlling the PvP and you're fighting against someone in real time. So if you're coming from Dawn of Titans, I know that's gonna be different for you guys, but it's really cool. Now the second set of PvP here, this is called Omega War. And you can see here, it's a 10 on 10 battle, dude. It is crazy. There is so much going on here and it's really hard to see what's happening at any given time. So I try to stay out of the mosh pit. I kind of try to stay out here on the periphery when I can and I kind of hop in and try to snipe on people when they don't see me coming or they're low on health because I'm just not strong enough against PGC. I just got smacked, dude. I kicked in the face. I'm just not strong enough to resist a lot of their hits, dude. These, some of these people, they have, they're specifically built for PvP, and that's something for you number crunchers that like to like, you know, crunch numbers and have, this game's got that for you. Cause you can gear your, your character up for PvE content or PvP, um, you can be a little bit of both, but you're not going to be good at both then if that's the case. Um, so, and you can have multiple builds on your character, which is great. You have like, um, uh, I think three different build slots, which you can switch from. So you can have different um, uh, gear, different abilities, you can switch back and forth very quickly. Something that I wish we had in the current game I'm playing, Dawn of Titans, we were able to switch very quickly from build to build. Um, that would be so fantastic. So this game does have that. And if you like playing around with numbers, this, this game's gonna give that to you guys. But I don't know, I'm, I'm really enjoying the real time PVP here, having some instant feedback and, you know, rather than just an auto defense. And, you know, this gives you a chance to really test your skills against a bunch of people. Now, what's really cool too, is you can be part of a group, right? An alliance, you can bring in your friends and you can have you guys all together. So let's say we're all on Discord, we're all communicating where we're going. We can pick our characters that we need to have so we can kind of synergize together um, certain characters do buff other characters um, my captain america if i really want to i can turn him into more of a tank to take more of a beating than he does uh, my guy's pretty squishy because i'm definitely geared more towards the pve content currently because i'm still leveling him they just had a brand new patch come out and they've increased the level cap so i'm working on that right now but as you can see very dynamic a lot of motion a lot of things going on um and like i said just i mean just such a breath of fresh air to do something a little bit different when I'm tapping on my screen rather than just, you know, fire and forget, I guess. Uh, or in the same old battles, right? The same old battles. It's, just, it's never the same fight ever in this game, which is great. So that, that's Omega Wars. So let's go ahead and move on. Pretty much the last thing I really want to cover, guys, is just, you know, some final thoughts, I guess, on my experience so far. 
Um, it's fun. It's really fun. It, it's different, obviously, than Dawn of Titans, the main game I play. If you're not familiar with my other work and you see my videos from Dawn of Titans or you don't know what that is, well, hey, don't worry about that. But for most of my viewers, you guys know me from that one game. And this game is night and day from that in so many ways. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really, really cool. I know some of you guys are probably might be thinking, well, is this, uh, you know, do I have to spend a lot of money in this game or can I be free to play? You can 100% be free to play in this game. It's just really grindy. But it's the same with uh, Dawn of Titans, right, guys? You can be 100% free to play in Dawn of Titans. Uh, you just gotta grind if you really want stuff. You gotta save up and be really picky about what you do. In my case right now, I'm pretty much focusing on just one main character, and that's where I'm putting everything into him. However, in this game, um, in order to really maximize anything, you gotta level up the other characters um, for your squad rank. Now, these are all things I'll cover in subsequent videos. So if this is a game that you're interested in learning more about, maybe you wanna jump in and play, well, hey, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be alerted when I have brand new videos for you and if you do jump in the game and you want to join my alliance um I got me Churo if you guys are Dawn Titan guys you guys all know Churo he's in there a couple other guys Polo Ice they're in the alliance with me looking for more good people good people to join us we are called late night raids we are in the um uh, western server Sakar 3 I know Sakar 3 I want to say it's west coast I'll have a video coming out very soon explaining how to join my alliance. Um, so if that's something that interests you, definitely jump on in. I would love to have you guys. And let's, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun and enjoy it. Anyways, guys, that's Marvel Future Revolutions. For all my new viewers, welcome to the dark side here with Dar Shigong. I'm your host. And hey, I'm going to bug out here and get back to grinding out this and Dawn of Titans at the same time. Doing my thing. So... As always, I hope to catch you, gaming on the dark side. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sinning, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, getting there ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right past the thing. Every night, got a team, I've been tied to the scene. Out on stage, here I'm screaming. Okay, it's a dream, and I pray as a team. One day, it be me. If I want it, then I get it. Head down, don't regret it. Push myself to the limit. If I play it, then I win it. I'm just saying.